to have a little snug snug and you're stroking the cat and you do and you're like <sighs> three two one <clears throat> whereas i get in bed and i lay down i might give the cat a little scrape and then a scrape a scratch and then i lay down and then i shut my eyes and it goes <clears throat> that's literally me when i go to bed Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Alexis Blake. And I'm Liam Blake. And this is episode 21 of our podcast, The, the Blake, Blake Debate. Debate. And I have my hair up today because it's really greasy, so please no comments if it looks a mess. It's just one of them things, you know, sometimes my hair's dirty and I haven't washed it in five days. How are you? Uh, I'm better than you are because... I am not, no, not good. good. I am angry at life, at Don't the world. I know it. I am going vaping, and this is, we'll call it day five. Day, f day four. It's day four. It's day five? It's, it's day four. I can't. This is really hard. Like, I didn't realise. This is harder than quitting smoking, because when you quit smoking, you're going from one thing to another, whereas this is going from something to patches and gum, and I, I, I can't. I'm really struggling. This is why Biggie's here again for emotional support for me. Keep getting screamed at like I'm, a No, I'm not screaming at you. I am she's, she's, being she's firmer with him if he is being frustrating, oh, let's say. That, you, you sound when like you're, my mum. When you're running around the house, having a moment, repeating the same sentence 30, 40 times and just saying it in different ways, like, I am like running, like I what? am running, I am running, like, whilst running around the house. Oh, what about my other favourite one? Ha ha ha! Laughing! So, on that note, what we're talking about today? Your diagnosis. Diagnoses. Diagnoses of ADHD, finally. Finally, yes. I went to my assessment just over a week ago and finally got the answer. Shall we rewind first? Go on. Before we jump into that, about the day before, what did Liam do wrong? So I had my assessment officially was last Friday. It was booked off of work and this had been that way for months. But then on the lead up to it about a week before, I said to Alexis, it's on Thursday. Make sure you take the time off of work. We coincided it to run alongside taking a car into the garage. Mm -hmm. um, my appointment was at 12 o'clock, so we got the car in the garage, we came home, had a bit of dinner, and then we were just about to set off to my appointment, and it dawned on me that it wasn't it wasn't on Thursday, it was on Friday. So I'd not turned up to work that morning. I did get a text from work saying, are you supposed to be in today? And I was like, no, no, I'm not in today, I'm in tomorrow. But actually, you, you I was supposed wrong. to be in tomorrow and not in today. I literally came into the room, because he was in here when he, when he figured it out, and he went, oh, no, I've... Um, I've got it wrong, it's tomorrow. I had to beg work to have it off as holiday because it's a really busy time and I really should have not had it off. And I just said, I just need to walk away for a minute just to digest it because I'm going to say something mean. I'm not even quite vaping. Still, you, I wouldn't say you were still smoking at this point. So yeah, basically my ADHD appointment, I got it the wrong way around because, because, of, because of my ADHD. <laughs> but anyway, work was super good. Uh, they let me have it off as holiday and then we had my appointment on the Friday. But you couldn't make it, could you? Because I, I, so. I couldn't ask for any more time off work. I had mm. too much to do. So I, had, I, I went on my own. But um, it were all good. The guy was super nice. We went through like a million and one questions, talked over the questionnaire that I've filled in like a thousand times. No, literally the doctors were like, because I put in for this, oh, I can't even tell you. I started this process A couple of like years ago? Three years ago. Yeah. Um, since then I've had an but that, that's like anything on the NHS I know I know the, the weight was not a problem until I quit vaping like four months ago and, and then everything's it, heightened and then everything's just like increased tenfold like my ADHD my my ADHD-ness my stimming my like I call them happy dolphins so you know you know like endorphins so I call them happy dolphins so you know when I'm in a good mood because which I'm, is most of the time which is most of the time cause, but know, when you're not you're but flat when I'm not I'm flat but one of the things that Liam does that drives me crazy that I think You drive is... me crazy. Thank you. I think it's triggered by your adahajda is when you're in the kitchen, you just put your hands on the side and start bouncing up and jumping up and just saying random things and it's like you've been possessed. And I don't know why you do that. Man. That's one of his I'm things. Barry. I think your ADHD is one of the reasons why I fell in love with you. Really? Because, yeah, because you were so fun and loud and chatty and so much energy. Whereas I used to be a lot more reserved and within myself and you were like yin and yang. 
Are you allowed to say that? I don't know. Yeah, yeah of course you can say. Are you allowed yeah. to say that? Yeah. I don't know. Um, we like balance each other. <laughs> we we balance each other out. What did we do on our second date? You was like, oh, second date with Liam. I wonder what we're going to be doing. And, and then, we went rock climbing. Yeah. And then what did we do afterwards? Well, you said, what do you want to do now? I was like, oh, I don't know. He's like, well, what's your favourite place? And I said York. And then he just. So we just drove to York. So when we were in York on our second date, walking around the York Wall, what did I get you to do? Play bogies. Maybe they don't know what bogies is. Do you want to explain? Yeah, everyone knows what bogies is. Why not? Not. not some people everyone, might not. Well, you just, one of you says the word and then the other one says it a bit louder and louder and louder and louder until you end up shouting in public bogeys and it's very embarrassing and it was cringy but it was funny. Yeah, well, I was like, let's play bogeys and you were like, no, no, I don't, I don't do things like I'm, that. Uh, when have I ever spoken like that? You speak like that all the time? I don't speak like that. And then I was like, come on, let's play bogeys. So you're like, fine. And literally 30 seconds later, screaming at the top of your lungs, veins bulging out your neck. Bogeys! I'm not the whole. I don't mean you specifically, I just mean like us in general, we were both just screaming it and people were looking and being like what is going on but I don't care I thought it was really fun do you think no let me rewind what did the doctor say about the quality of life someone well, living because I think this is really interesting first of all before I say that he because I forgot to mention this earlier he said to me he was like right so you know ADHD people who are diagnosed with ADHD I was like yeah generally on average people that are diagnosed with ADHD they score roughly around this much on the table the scoring system what they're used to uh, figure it all out I was like, okay. And he was like, you scored double that. And I was like, oh. So I'm like, I put the A in ADHD. He's like, yeah, yeah, you do. So I was like, okay. And then we talked about medication. And I've always been like, I don't want to take medication at best of times. I've had some serious side effects to antidepressants. But I've always had bad experiences when I take medication. So I've kind of been put off taking medication. But since I stopped vaping or, or giving my body that nicotine, I've had nicotine in my body for 20 years, which has obviously kept me on a on a level. Yeah, neutralised you neutralized out a little bit. Neutralised me a little bit since well, I stopped. Well, 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 well. A little bit. Yeah, but if you so it's compare... It's kept my highs and no, my no, lows no, no, a bit no. more. If you compare you on nicotine to a normal person, you are still like... Oh, no, I'm... Yeah. No, yeah, above, I'm still but like... Wild. But for me, compared to what I am now, it was mild. Compared. Comparing myself to myself. I think you've got worse. Oh, absolutely. That's what I mean. And And... So now I don't have any nicotine whatsoever. So I have no kind of anything entering my system, which is calming me down. So when we're talking about medication, I was like, well, it's not the, the thing I fear the most is it's not going to like dumb me down. It's not going to turn me into a zombie, is it? And he explained the different types of medication and what they do. And he says, no, that's not the aim. He said, he basically explained that a part of my, what's it called? Frontal, frontal lobe. Frontal lobe. Part of my frontal lobe is, uh, I'm just going to put Biggie down. Say bye. I'm getting, I'm getting a warm lap. All right, okay. I was getting a very warm lap. He said about the frontal... Lobe. The frontal globe. Lobe. Frontal lobe. Yeah, you've got a globe right there in front, your head. Well, frontal lobe. Basically, people with ADHD, their dopamine levels... Well, the dopamine doesn't get to where it's supposed to get to as much as a normal... But yes. As much as a, a non... Liam. I'm just explaining what... You asked me right. to explain. No, no, go, go, I missed it. Um, I'm, just, I'm just chilling this podcast. He explained that you need to... Rec- you need me. more... No, me. All right. I'm speak. How can you not follow this? So the doctor was speaking to me and he said to me, you as someone with ADHD who's got it quite badly, to get your dopamine to where it needs to go to, you need a lot of dopamine. So you need a lot of stimulation. And all that stimulation is is releasing dopamine, but not all of that dopamine gets to where it's supposed to. Where does it go? Well, it just seeps here and then everywhere. I've got leaks everywhere. (laughs) So basically, when I have my severely like hyper moments, it's almost like, all that dopamine that's being stuck somewhere gathers and boom like a like a block drain on the opposite of that when i have like my down days where i don't function like i'm yeah, like yeah. yesterday i was on a bit of, i was a bit of a debbie downer yesterday yeah we all have those days, yeah but you yeah yours are more extreme i'd say yeah that's because i've not i've not got the simulation that i needed so do you think i'm not calling you out here i'm just you're having, always calling no me i'm out. not we're having an open conversation okay. in a safe space all right. So one of your, I don't want to say flaws, one of your things is that sometimes you hyperfixate on things. Well, you do hyperfixate on things, mm-hmm. that's obvious. But you don't always reach the end goal. No. 
for instance, wooden panelling in our bedroom. What I'm saying is... Is there a question here? Yeah, there I'm is a question. So oh, like the bathroom, it was 90% done for a year. We have just, I, I mm. finished the tiles myself. Do you think medication will help you concentrate on these tasks to complete them? I mean, I don't know, I'm not a doctor, but... Will he someone did comment say below me, if it he does? Did, no, he did say to me, the medication should regulate it more, regulate you more. Right. So you should be able to concentrate better. Because you lose interest. Because I didn't know, you know, like, you'll be obsessed with something. Mm -hmm. So, like, viscerally, is that the word? So intently. So viscerally. I, I don't know if that's the like word. I don't think it's viscerally. right. Viscerally. I think it's just a smart word that I'll put sounds, in the wrong place. It sounds right, I think. You get so obsessed with something. It's like so, like, intently and so I need to know everything about it, when it was created, where it's everything. going, how it but works. But then, just as quick as the obsession comes, the obsession goes. And I'm wondering, is that your personality or the ADHD or both? I think it's my ADHD because, like, for example, I spent upwards of about two to three thousand pounds about three years ago. On what? Because I wanted to be a streamer, didn't I? Ah, oh, yeah. So yeah, I had yeah. a game. I've still got my gaming PC. I'll never give up gaming. I love gaming. But I had my gaming PC, which I built from scratch. All the components in it were very expensive. I wanted the best of the best. Uh, I had a big... I had, how many monitors did I have? About five. Uh, five monitors. I had a separate laptop, which was also a gaming laptop for the streaming side of things. So I, I spent weeks obsessing, hyper-researching, hyper-focusing. I wanted the best setup. How many times did you stream? I streamed twice. <laughs> and then it was over. And that then, was then it. it it was bored next and then you, there was always something so sometimes it I, works I in, do, yeah. it was, sometimes it works in my favour Liam learned how to plumb in a whole bathroom and he plumbed our entire bathroom yeah. but where it fails sometimes is that he got bored and didn't finish it but yeah. he was almost done you were almost done I do so. and then and then I lose interest in stuff and it's not like I just become a little bit can not you, interested I literally just stop caring can you hyper fixate on washing clothes that's no, your next that's, thing no because I think that's, that's boring it, well how, how does washing clothes stimulate me because you're doing a well, Wow, oh, this t-shirt's getting clean again. I, I don't get how that excites me. Well, it doesn't do itself. That's what I'm trying to it say. It, it appears so. I put washing in wash basket and then a week later it's gone and back in the cupboard. So it, it does do itself, doesn't it? Because I haven't done it. I I'm We not. must have magic washing. I, we, does I, anyone else have any any magic washing fairies in their house? You do not want to mess with me today. I don't know what's going on like at work today. Do you know today. what? It sounds like a you problem. Ah, oh, my fingers. Okay, I'm sorry. So at work today, I just, someone would say something like mildly stupid. You know like when people do? And you're just like, that's mm. stupid. But normally I've got a lot more patience. I'm like, oh no. You don't say this to the face, right? Because no, no, being no, no, an no, HR no. manager is probably not no, the right no. thing to say. No, no. And you, I'll just explain. Being stupid. But today, <sighs> straight to 10 in a minute. And I'll just like, Bleh! and I'm like, oh, like, just calm down. Like, you can't. And I'm, it's not fair on people. I just need to, I just need to vape. That's what it is. No, I just you, need no because to, you've, you've I quit. Just need to. You've quit and it's for good this time. We'll just have a little. No, just... because if you have a little, then, then that's just defeating the point. <sighs> You've got like, she's got like 17 nicotine patches on her. Oh, no. You've got one here, one here, one on your boob, one no, on your tummy no, and one on your leg. No, no I've got one. This one's like defected now. It doesn't work defected. anymore. Defected? They only work for so long. I've got one on my belly. Do you know what a no. defector? Wait, is that the right word? When someone... Deflector, is that no, what you're No, a, de a defect. A de when somebody like works for one side and goes to the other side. Defect that... Defector. Defect. I don't think that's right. I think that's right. That's not right. When something's defective... Yeah, it means it, it doesn't work. work. But if you defect to the other side, is that no, right? No, that's not right. I'm sure that's I right. I don't know what you're trying to say, but no, I'm like, pretty like, sure like that's people, not right. Like, on, like people in the war, they're, they're a spy and they go to the other side, but then they defect to the other side. They they become... That's not right. We'll, go we'll Google it. <laughs> Anyone with ADHD we'll who Google has it. been on meds, please let us know your experience below because we... Well, I have a friend who's been on it and they didn't work for her. So I'm always curious and I think ADHD in women presents very differently to men as what I've read as well. So let us know below uh, what to expect because I think it's something Liam is considering. What am I considering? Never mind. On oh, medication? Yeah. See? 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 A defector... A defector, Am I a wrong? person who has abandoned their country or cause in favour of an opposing one. Opposing one. If I supported one football team, I don't do football, but if I supported one football team and I did that for, 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 for a long time, but then I suddenly started supporting another one because the other team's now winning and my old team's losing, one would say I've defected to the other side. I've never I'm a heard defector. that. I apologise. It's all right. Your apology is accepted. Thank you <laughs> so much. Anyway... 
Going back to the question I asked you about a million hours ago, which you've skipped over because you answered 17 questions, which I didn't ask. All right. What did the doctor say about the quality of life? Um, That's something interesting. He said something along the lines of adults who have severe ADHD, if left untreated, like in other words, they live their entire life with, with it untreated, their quality of life is worse than someone who's got type 1 diabetes. That's crazy. And I didn't really understand that comparison because I do believe type 1 diabetes is the worst kind, isn't it? Isn't yeah. that the one you've got yeah. to constantly measure your... Yeah. So I'm not quite sure where that comparison lies. I just lies. thought it was really interesting Yeah, statement. I just don't know what... But I understand that it is, like for me now, after four or five months of not smoking, it's like, it's tough sometimes. I know. Like it's tough because I'm always getting in trouble. Well, you're always doing naughty things, that's yeah, why. But, like what? Like leaving dirty clothes on the floor, not changing the loo roll, not making the bed, leaving the curtains closed, not using washing your, your dishes, making a mess on the side, using my shampoo, not flushing the toilet. There's a lot of well, things. Well, leaving the cupboard doors open. Leaving the cupboard doors open. Whenever, you make, whenever Liam makes any food ever, he can literally make toast. <laughs> and the, well, all the cupboard put... doors are open, there's... Breadcrumbs over the side. There's butter smeared up the wall. All right, let's. It I looks don't like quite. A, it think looks so. insane in there. What do you put in the toaster, Alexis? Bread. What do cows drink? Water. You form the lips oh. to say it. You form the lips to say it. What are the next steps? Steps of what? For your ADHD. What's happening now? Oh, I've got to have my blood pressure taken in the meantime because. The medication can raise your blood pressure, but because I, I've got to lower my caffeine intake because I have a lot of caffeine. Because caffeine He's not done that yet. doesn't. All right, caffeine doesn't affect me like it affects someone who doesn't have ADHD. Yes, yeah. because I can have like six to eight coffees a day. Yeah, and it, it's weird because like for me, caffeine levels me out. It doesn't make me worse. It doesn't make me hyper. It doesn't yeah. make me. Yeah. So I've got to lower my caffeine intake, and I've got to have my blood pressure taken in the meantime, and then I'm an appointment in two weeks, and then I'm going to basically try the medication. But the, he said the good thing about the medication is it's not like antidepressants where it takes six months to get into your system, yeah. and then when you come off it, it's really hard, hard. Yeah. And you have withdrawals. It's not like that. And he said it's also you might take it a couple of times a week, and then you might not take it for two weeks, and then you take it. It's not as necessary to have. You can it take it when needed. As and when, basically, yeah. that's the impression that he gave me. Is I can take it as and when. There are no side effects. Yeah. And if there is, they're they're not severe because I have Good. had severe Good. side effects of some medication. I I think it's something to consider definitely, and just see how you go with it, mm. and see how you feel on it. Because I love yeah. when I'm. I know. I, but I, I, enjoy, I don't think you'll lose. I, it. I think me. it helps you focus more because you get so frustrated at things. Anyway. I do. I do get. We could so go on and on and on. When but, some no, I want to just say right. So anyone else who, what, what we're doing? You're not going to leave lipstick? No, up? there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, other people that have ADHD, like if if you if you want to comment on this, when something doesn't work, I could literally put holes in walls. You do because you get I need so to frustrated. understand why it's not working. I don't mind something not working, but. There's you lipstick don't... on me, isn't no, there? No, no, no. Um, when something doesn't work, like with my computer, if I'm trying to diagnose a problem, if I can't find that problem, it drives me insane. I have to go sit in a dark room for like an hour and it does. just switch off because it, it perplexes me. I literally get to a point where it's like, I will pay someone money to fix this problem. I don't care. Write a number but down you, on you a have to know, though. I have it? to know. It's so frustrating to watch because you're so intent on knowing this tiny detail about something so insignificant. But it's not insignificant to, to me. me in the moment and when I and when I, know, when I get I the solution to the problem that is my stimulation that's that's what gives me the dopamine hit I know. and and I always think I can fix things like I buy something and I'll be like I know it's broken but it's all right I can fix it I spend three hours like that like that iPhone I will I'll put a new battery in it myself I followed the tutorial and I did it perfectly there was nothing wrong with the instructions but I messed up. I messed up yeah. myself. I, I, I messed up. Are you up. admitting you're wrong? Yeah, I messed up you something. You're admitting you're wrong. But the hours I'd spent doing that only to, to basically still have a broken Not phone end of it, it would just, it, it absolutely infuriated me. But hopefully now, hopefully now, moving forward, better steps can be taken for yeah. you to just Deal with life easier, mm. let's say. I don't say better, but easier. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I enjoy my personality. And I'm, when I'm in a good mood and I'm bouncing and bubbly and I'm... Duh, 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 it's I so love much it. fun when I'm going to sleep and I've got to be up at four for work and he comes so in you know, bouncing into the bedroom. You know, like, when you try to sleep and at 3am your cat decides to play Zoomies. 
<laughs> that's literally that's you. Me. That is she literally you. As soon as she goes to bed, I'm like, it's... I must become more active. And annoying. Anyway, on that note, we're going to call it there. Oh, we've got questions. We've always got questions. I'm ready then. Let's do it. When is your collaboration with Blair White happening? I don't know. She's on tour right now. Can't you just ring her up and just be like, hi, Blair. No, she's she, girly. She, I like to see her. She won't even know who I am. She's on tour at the moment and I don't know, maybe one day. Maybe. Well, you never know. You know, put in a good word for me. Comment on her. Go on her account and start commenting. I'd be so nervous. So that would be What would you be terrified. nervous for? Well, it's just, it's just a big thing, like it's like when I when I did the Book Angel interview, I was mm. terrified for that. He was so lovely. Though. He was lovely. I I I, mess I messaged him over there. Mm. Yeah, because he put a funny story picture. Well, no, okay, it wasn't a funny story picture. It was quite horrific actually. And I was like, is this real? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, oh my god. Anyway, I don't know why I just said that like an American accent. Oh is this gosh. real? Oh my god. <sighs> you just had about four conversations in the space of like three seconds. Question number two. Yeah. Is from Marju Tracks. Sorry if I got that wrong. What were your dreams about your life before you transitioned? How are those dreams now? I th I always was very focused on being a dancer and having that as a career. That was my only dream. Uh, that's exactly what I did. That's all I focused on because that's all I could focus on really. But I could never see like the future. But as a dream, I just wanted to dance. It's all I ever wanted to do, which I did. I did do it as a job for a while, but now I think they've definitely changed my dreams now. So what are your dreams now? I don't know, there's so many. Like... Making me happy. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, my dream now was, to, it was always, I think deep down it was always a transition. I just never admitted that to myself, just with the denial. And now I've done that, I'm just refiguring out life. One of my dreams is to become a mum. One of my dreams is to marry you and get a different house <laughs> and then just joking and then maybe one of my other dreams is to explore this is a career mall one day maybe like i don't know i love doing all this so you never know what, chatting on the internet. thank you liam but yes chatting on the internet before i met you i didn't have any dreams no oh. because when people always say when i grow up i want to be a doctor or i want to be a this and i want to be that I never had that. Never. 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 You didn't ever think, oh, I'll be this when I'm older. I had this, again, probably ADHD, but I had this tiny little interest of becoming a, a video games designer. Yeah. I went to uni, did a year, and then quickly realised I preferred playing games more than making them mm -hmm. because they're very hard to make, requiring lots of tension and, and, and patience, which I don't have. I have no patience. I no. want it yesterday. So I quickly knocked that on the head. At one point, I did want to, I briefly wanted to be a police officer. Yeah, you um, had told me that before. Again, not for me. And funnily enough, it was an ex-police officer that put me off wanting to become a police officer. He's like, you know the bill? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, in line of duty, I'm like, yeah. He's like, yeah, police is not like that. And I'm like, oh, he's like, you spend 90% of your time sat down at a desk writing forms. And I'm like, yeah, not for me. No, no. I want to be like booting down doors and arresting people and... You know, fighting for my life. I don't want to be sat right here. I don't want you to be doing that. Like, so what are your dreams now? I'm dying to know. My dream... Right, so my dreams now... I've never felt like I've had a purpose before. So I've never had something to focus on. Right. And now I have something to focus on. I feel like I have a purpose, which is the, the social media video editing... Um, That's cute. ...side of things. So I'm, I've, I've now developed a skill that I've never used before. Yeah. And I've self-taught... And it's not the best, but it's getting there. It's really there. good. Well, thank you. You're but really good. So now it's like, I even though I go to work, I, obviously I work at Tesco, I work at a checkout, but when I do the video editing, it's like I have a purpose that I'm aiming towards. Working towards working, something. Working towards something. I mean, I love work at Tesco, and, and don't get me wrong, I appreciate the openness. I, I'm able to be myself. There yeah, and stuff yeah. Like that. And, and I love my customers and that. Building up this potential social media aspect, maybe that, I'll go a certain way or we'll be doing something where we might help people or I don't know a business or self well we are kind of self-employed in a way but like having a business that's aimed at maybe helping people to do with maybe transitioning or something one day we'll I don't see. know and obviously my dream is to marry you as well thank you for tagging that on the end so much <laughs> that I love that I have like the lowest priority no no the, the highest is I saved the best or last good save there good save anyway if you have any questions please comment below yes please do and if you enjoy this kind of content please Please like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. Ding, ding, if for notifications that may or may not appear on your screen. I, do you know what, right? When I, oh. I have, I'm subscribed to maybe 20 people or companies on right. um, YouTube. But like, 
I don't get notifications half the there's time. A, there's a box called subscriptions. I know, but like when someone uploads a new video, I don't always get. Yeah, but are your notifications turned on your phone? Yeah. No, I don't mean I don't I don't mean I want my phone to go. Liam, there's a new video. But like when I open YouTube, I don't always have a notification that I there is a new video on something that I follow. Like it's a thing. Apparently, it's not. It's never been right, a robust okay. thing. It's, it's, like it's a, never fully worked. It's kind of on and off. Anyway, if you want to listen to us instead of watch us, we yeah. have the podcast available on uh, Spotify, Apple Music, podcast, Apple Podcast. It's not Apple Music. Well, that's a, in a way, it can, Apple Podcast, Amazon Music. There are other ones, but I don't know the names because I use an just RSS feed. You can, yeah, just search for the Blake Debate on YouTube. If you want to listen. Google. On both. Oh my gosh. Yeah, because you can... You know in the last podcast I said, YouTube, I mean Google. Actually, you can search the Blake Debate on YouTube because then you'll get the video version. Whereas if you search for it on Google, you'll find the podcast version. I, I, I don't know what conversation you're having I, anymore. I'm not... What? And I, I, also, I, no, because we, we mentioned last week about the context of things. Remember when you pointed out the tattoo thing? Liam, you said, what conversation are you having no, right listen, now? You know when you pointed out to the tattoo and you said, you, no, the no. listeners can't hear that. And I'm like, I described it, didn't I? And you went, oh yeah. But we do apologise that sometimes the podcast might not make sense because we don't have... Right, you're bringing it back round now. Yeah, I'm there. You're there, yeah. We don't, yeah. we don't always have context visually for people who are listening. This is the longest outro yeah. in history. But anyway, I apologise for that because otherwise we'd have to record two versions of everything, which I mean, there ain't enough days Your in a week. Your brain it? just what? doesn't stop. It's like spinning. Yeah. Like it, it, anyway, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, like for when you're it. going to bed, you're like this. You're like, <sighs> you put your phone down, and the cat comes on you to have a little snug, snug, and you're stroking the cat, and you do, and you're like, ah. <sighs> Three, two, one. Whereas I get in bed and I lay down, I might give the cat a little scrape and then a scrape, a scratch, and then I lay down and then I shut my eyes and it goes. That's literally me when I go to bed. So then I have to go on YouTube and I'm like, I have to watch things. That's that's what happens. Bye. Bye. You're terrifying sometimes. What do you mean? You just are.